On Friday, you testified on a scale of one to 10, as far as how high you were, you were an 11. Yes. Remember that? Yes. <clears throat> were you, you were speaking of the night of April, tw April 12th of 2015, correct? I just remember being high that whole week. <laughs> okay. W would that be an accurate answer for that night as well? Yes. Okay. I think where we left off, you had testified that you had ran towards the car with the other gentleman in it, correct? Yes. And then you backed off. Yes. <clears throat> and you backed off because you were scared? I backed off because I didn't know what was next. I didn't know what they was doing in the car. What were you concerned about them doing in the car? Anything. Preparing to hit me with the car, jump out, or shoot back, or whatever. Did you know whether they had guns or not in the car? No, I didn't. Okay. After you backed off, off, off of that car, you said that car drove away, correct? Yes. On Jonesboro Road, towards the cemetery? Yes. Okay. Your Honor, may I approach the screen? Mr. Murphy, would you uh, kindly just turn around? Is this the parking lot area of the Sitco? Yes. Okay. When we say that, oh, I'm sorry. When we say that the other car with the individuals that you didn't know pulled away on Jonesboro Road, headed south, they went this way, correct? Yeah, down Jonesboro Road. Okay. And <clears throat> a short time thereafter, you got back in the car that you were in with Nard, correct? Yes. The, the white nitro. The white Jeep. The white Jeep. And you went down this road on Browns Mill Road, correct? Yes. Nard was driving. Yes. Okay. So you did not... Mr. Shaw. Yes. The car that you and Nard were in did not follow the car that went down Jonesboro Road, correct? No. One, you did not shoot at that car headed down Jonesboro Road as it left, did you? No. As that car left the Sitco parking lot, Nard did not shoot at that car, did he? No, they just left. Okay, and Mr. Murphy, you have previously recognized this as video from the Sitco on 4-12-2015, correct? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> All right, in that top left um, square <clears throat> is outside by the pumps, correct? Yes. <clears throat> top right square that's showing right now is the parking lot. It's right in front of the door of the Sitco, correct? The yes. front door. Okay. Mr. Kokomo, if you could play it. Okay, Ms. Kokomo, could you pause? Now, in the bottom left, that is the inside of that Sitco, correct? Yes. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Co Kokomo. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Kokomo, if you could pause. Mr. Murphy, did you just see on the top left uh, two cars enter the, uh, the parking lot? Yes. Okay. Kokomo.
Okay, pause, Mr. Kokomo. <coughs> now, Mr. Murphy, <coughs> you would agree that the lighter color car was entered the parking lot first, correct? Yes. And the darker color car followed right behind the lighter color car? Yes. Okay. Do you recognize the individual who went over to the driver's side of the darker color car? No. Okay. Ms. Kokomo, but you do see someone that, that went over to the darker color car? Yes. Okay. Ms. Kokomo? Pause, please. Okay. The gentleman with the red shirt that just walked off screen, the one that went over to the darker color car, do you, do you recognize that person is hot? I can't really tell. Um, you can't, can't tell now? Okay. The, how about the person in the back, the heavy set gentleman in the back? Um, do you recognize that person? I can't see, no. I can't Not yet? See, like, oh, no. Okay. Mr. Kokomo, would you let it play? Okay, Mr. Coco. Those two gentlemen that just entered uh, the top right square, do you recognize them now? Yeah, I think they're Bentley. The gentleman in the white shirt is OG Bentley? Yeah. And the person in the right, do you recognize that person is hot? Um, I don't know who, I can't really see if they got that hat on. Okay, fair enough. All right, Mr. Kokomo, if you would play. And you, you just saw those three in, individuals enter the store, correct? Yes. Okay. The third individual that I haven't asked you about, do you recognize that person? No. Okay. Now, based on your knowledge of this incident, in that car, left in that car, are a woman and children, correct? Yes. The lighter colored car? Yes. That Bentley and the other gentleman exited? Yes. Okay. And the darker color car is still there, correct? Yes. At this point, have you seen anyone from the darker color car get out to pump any gas? No. Have you seen anyone from the darker color car walk to the store to purchase an item? No. Okay. Mr. Kokomo, if you would play. All right, pause, Mr. Kokomo. Did you see the darker color car now pull in front of the lighter color car containing the woman and children? Yes. Okay. Mr. Kokomo?
Ms. Kokomo, could you pause? Mr. Murphy, did you just see the third gentleman that you can't recognize um, exit the store, look over to the cars, and then re-enter the store? Yes. Okay. Okay, Mr. Kokomo, pause for a second. Did you see someone enter, I mean, exit the lighter color car that Bentley was in? Yes. Okay, do you recognize that person? No. Do you know if that was a male or a female? Female. Okay. And did she get out to pump gas? Yes, I look like it. Okay, Mr. Kokomo. Mr. Kokomo, pause, please. In the lower left, do you see an individual looking out the window towards the outside, from the outside of the store? Looking out the door, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that Mr. Bentley? Yes. Okay. Okay, Ms. Ms. Kokomo, pause, please. Ms. Murphy, on the lower right, did you just see the individual, the third individual that was in the car that you can't identify um, point someone else to go over to the car? Objection, Your Honor, speculation. I stand the objection. Okay, did you see the third individual interact with a person that was not originally in the car with them? Yes. Okay. And uh, is that individual on the top left screen now? Yes. Okay. Ms. Kokomo, could you play? Mr. Kokomo, can you pause? Did that person that was not originally with them just go over to the car and take over the pumping of gas? Yes, that would it looked like. And has one of the individuals that was inside the dark car uh, exited the car and is talking to the female? Yes. Okay. Mr. Kokomo, yep. Pause. 
Did you just see Mr. Bentley looking out the window again towards the cars? Yes. <clears throat> The third individual that you cannot identify go back to the light car car. Yes. Have Bentley and the gentleman with the red shirt exited the store at this point? No. That was a no? No. All right, Mr. Kokomo, pause. At 21.43, is that the white Jeep that you and Nard and Fatty were in? Yes. Okay. At this point, when you arrived, I'm talking about you personally, did you have any insight about what was going on? I didn't know what was going on. All you knew was that Nard had given you a, an assault rifle, correct? Yeah. And he said, let's ride. Yes. <clears throat> and you were very high. Yes. Okay. Do you recognize yourself in that video? Yes. Okay, who are you? I'm at the top left by the car, uh, whatever kind of car that there. The, are you in the back, yeah. driver's side, standing behind the car where, the, where, the, where Mr. Kokomo has put the pointer? Yes. Wearing a black hoodie? Yes, I think uh, it's a jacket, but well, yeah. At this time, um, even though we can't see it, are you armed with an assault rifle? Yes. Okay. Pause. Mr. Cookman, okay. And did you just point the assault rifle at the black car? Yes. Or the dark car? Yes. Do you remember if you said anything? I don't remember. Did you shoot? No. Okay. And then you retreated? Yes. Okay. Now, on the top right, standing by the door, who is that? That Nard. That's Nard, and is, that, is he standing by the front door? Do you see on the bottom left, him in the doorway? Yes. And that's the store that Bentley and the gentleman with the red shirt. Do you know who the gentleman with the red shirt? Have you seen enough of the video? I can't see his face. Oh, okay. Th they're in that store still? Yes. Okay. Uh, 
And just to be clear, Nard is also armed with an assault rifle, correct? Yes. And is that you running up on the car again? Yes. Okay. And you just saw the car speed off. Pause, please. And is that the car going down Jonesboro Road? Yes. <clears throat> okay. Go ahead, Ms. Cookmore. And the car that you arrived in is still in the parking lot, and the car that Bentley was in is still in the parking lot, correct? Yes. And Bentley has now e exited the store and is actually re-entering, correct? Yes. And now the gentleman with the red shirt is exiting the store, correct? Yes. And at this point, going back to April 12, 2015, you were aware that the car went down Jonesboro Road, correct? Yeah, I know the area. Okay. So whether you did or not, you could you could have told everyone, hey, that car went down Jonesboro Road, correct? Yeah. That's just speculation. Okay. Mr. Kokomo. Okay, and the car with Bentley in pulls out. <clears throat> And it heads down Browns Mill Road, correct? Yeah, it might go. That's what we're seeing right now. Like a slight right, yeah. Yep. Okay. And the white truck that you're in, we're seeing it head down Browns Mill Road, correct? Yes. Okay. Mr. Kokomo, if you could put on um, DS8 on the screen, please. <clears throat> okay. And... Um, you're familiar with this area, correct? Yes. All right. So, Ms. Murphy, if you could look at the screen. Or, yeah. yeah. This is the sit go, correct? Yeah. The arm, back, yeah. And the car with the other gentleman went down Brown's Mill Road, correct? Yes. And you all went, excuse me, went down Jonesboro Road towards the cemetery, yes. correct? Yes. And you all went down Browns Mill Road, correct? Yes. And these two roads, if everyone remains straight, are not going to intersect, isn't that correct? No. And Browns Mill Road is the way that you would get back to the house that you were at earlier. Yes. Your understanding is you were going back to the house, correct? I just remember we were leaving from right now. We were Trying to get away from right there. Could you repeat that one more time? I just remember we were trying to get away from right there. Okay. I didn't know where we was going until we got there. <clears throat> okay. Um, so, and if you could keep that up, Mr. Kokomo, I would appreciate it. shooting occurred, correct? Yes. It wasn't that much longer after you left the gas station, was it? No. Okay. You were headed down Browns Mill Road in the passenger seat of the white truck. Yes. Nard was driving. Yes. Fatty was in the back. Yes. Nard had a assault rifle <clears throat> under or in, at at his feet. Yes. You had an assault rifle in the passenger seat. Yes. Fatty, do you know if he had a gun? I can't remember. You can't remember? You're not saying he didn't? You're not saying he I mean, didn't? I'm not saying. Okay. <clears throat> um, Bentley, Hot, another gentleman, a female and two children 
were in the car behind you all headed down Browns Mill Road, correct? Yes. Okay. Do you know if any of them had guns? I can't recall. I don't remember. Okay. Did you see them with guns that day? No, not that I remember. Okay. And at that time, your understanding was the other car was headed down Jonesboro. Yes. Okay. At some point, the other car and the white truck that you were in ended up meeting, correct? Yeah, they made a right. I had to make a right, so on. Okay. Now, I, you testified you don't remember the name of the street. Mr. Murphy, if you could. Is this the right that you feel they took? Yeah, yes, because they left before, so they, it was, it's hard to explain, but they left before, so if they would have even made the first right, they would have, we still would have never, you see what I'm saying? Because they left minutes before. So if they make the first right, they, we still won't catch up to them. Did the cars? So I feel they made the second right. Did the cars meet at this intersection? I don't, I don't remember what intersection. I know we was on Browns Mill, and they was at a stop sign, so, yeah. When, when the cars met, whatever intersection, was your car still facing forward going down Browns Mill? Yes. With the driver's side of the car facing this way? Yes. Okay. And was the car with the other gentleman in driving this way, if you look at this way, towards your car? Yes, they was coming towards Brown Mill. So the cars were perpendicular? Um, yeah, is that what it means? I don't know. Okay, I got you. <clears throat> okay. Did you personally see the car, the dark color car, approaching you all at that intersection? No. Okay. Did someone in the white nitro see that car? Yes. Who saw the car coming? Objection or assume this characterization of the evidence of who saw the car coming. I stand in objection, Mr. Form. You can refer to Without saying what anyone said, did anyone indicate <coughs> to you that the car was coming? Objection, Your Honor, again, as to the car coming. I stand in objection. Need to rephrase, sir. Okay. You, you said the car was driving towards y'all, right? Which car? Hey, the, which car? Okay, I understand. The dark colored car was driving towards the white nitro, correct? Yes. Okay. And who was the first person that noticed the car driving towards y'all? I can't remember, but it was either uh, Fatty or not. It was one of them. Okay. I yeah. wasn't on that side of the car just to even see it coming. So. Right. The driver's side of the car was closest to the car that was oncoming. Yes. So the driver or the back passenger to the driver would have been able to see it. <clears throat> and what what happened? What happened when the car was seen coming towards you? Uh, we blocked it off. I, I think I remember we blocked it off. Okay. Was was. At the time that you blocked it off, was the car with Hot and Bentley and the children and the, and the woman, was it behind you or in front of you? Behind us. It was behind you? And then that car, what did it do? The car with Bentley and the children, what did it do? It went around us and kept straight. <clears throat> kept straight down Brown's Mill? Yes. As you blocked the car off? Yes. Okay. And then once Bentley and the car with Bentley and the children got passed, did the car that was coming towards you, did they stop? If yeah. you recall. Yeah, the, the, the car that's, yeah, they stopped. Okay. And then what happened? It happened. <laughs> the shooting happened. Okay, well, I'm going to have to ask you about specifics of the shooting. Okay, so who shot? No. 
Okay. Nard was seated in the driver's seat. Yes. Okay. Explain to the jury how he was driving and he shot. He stopped the car. Okay. Did he shoot through the window? No, he let the window down. He let the window down? It might have already been down. I can't remember. Like, but it was we definitely didn't shoot through the glass. And where did he get the gun from? He already had it. Okay, well, where was it in the car? I can't, it might have been in his lap in the floor. I, it was, he had it. <clears throat> okay. Did anyone hand it to him? No. Okay. And when he shot, do you remember how many shots he fired? I can't remember. A couple, more than one. <clears throat> more than one? Was it less than 10? Yes. Do you know how many shots a gun like that holds? It depends on the magazine. Okay. Do you remember uh, telling investigators that you thought it was three or four back in 2016? I, I might have said that. Um. Okay. <clears throat> and <clears throat> Nard shot. Do you know if Fatty shot? I don't recall. Now, did you shoot? I, how could I shoot? I'm on the opposite. I would have got out of the car. I didn't get out of the car, though. I'm not arguing with you. I'm asking. Did you shoot? No. Okay. And after Nard shot, what happened? Left. Did you, did you personally, I'm asking what you knew, did you know if anyone was shot or not? No. Okay. Do you remember where you went? We went back to the house we left from. Okay. And you got there by traveling down Browns, Browns Mill Road, correct? Yes. Okay. On that video we watched, you said, I already asked you about the house. On the video that we watched, and to your recollection, you said you know Shannon Stillwell. Was Shannon Stillwell at that gas station, that Sitco that night? No. You said you know Jeffrey Williams. Was Jeffrey Williams at that gas station that night? No. These other gentlemen in this courtroom, take all the time you want. Look at their faces. Were any of them at the gas station that night? No. Okay. On the ride to the gas station, phone calls being made. Were there any communications involving Shannon Stillwell that night? No. Were there any communications involving Jeffrey Williams that night? No. Do you know of any communications involving any of these other gentlemen? that night no when you got back to the house was shannon stillwell at that house no how about jeffrey williams was he at the house no <clears throat> any of these other gentlemen look at their faces were any of them at the house that night no